right, it's new day, new country. So I'm at the Port of Corfu and uh, we are taking a ferry to Albania. So, you know, Greece has been great. It's been like two and a half weeks, three weeks here. Uh, but time to get moving on. I want to get done a few more countries by the end of this trip. And the best way to make that happen is to hop on the ferry to Albania. So let's go. Crossing the road. Some big ships there. So it's gonna take like 35 minutes to get to Albania on the fast ferry. But first, we go over to that orange building, go through immigration, passport control, because Albania is not a member of the Shenzhen region, and Greece is. So in Europe, there's like 20 countries who are members of the Shenzhen region, and that means you can stay, if you have a US passport, 90 days in that region. And Albania is not in that region, so US citizens can go to Albania when they've used up their 90 days. And I think US citizens have like a full year that you can stay visa-free in Albania, I think. But I'm only gonna be there like a few weeks. So we gotta go into this orange building behind us for immigration and passport control. So let's go do that and see what the process is. Honestly, I'm exhausted, super hot in the morning. And I got like two hours of sleep last night because I was so excited to go to Albania today. So let's see what the deal is. Oh, wow. This line to Albania is long. Excuse me. Ooh. Long line to Albania. Damn. Okay, so we made it through the line. Passport control was really quite quite a bit of a hassle. So they really grilled me about my passport because I had flown into Europe twice in the last within 90 days and so I'm getting up on the 90 day border of how long US citizens can stay in Europe uh, I've got 26 more days left but I had to show I had to show the guy like my flights and everything which was more, more of a hassle than I expected slash like took about 15 minutes no not really more like 10 but it worked out it worked out so now we're here we take that ferry over there it's a fast ferry well maybe that ferry very like that. And then we'll be in Albania. Saranda, Albania is the name of it. So I guess my overall thought is that if you are coming to Europe and whenever you go through like a European border control, it's safe-ish, safer to have, like even if it's a refundable return flight to show that you are leaving the country, just in case. Generally I have it. I have one of those on me because I can just refund it and get my money back. But this time I didn't. So I had to kind of explain the situation. Um, worked out, but it doesn't always work out that 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 smoothly. I think I think going forward, I'm always gonna have like a um, proof of onward travel wherever I go places because I know there are a lot more other countries that are more sticklers about that than Europe in general. So the boat finally turned up about an hour late, but better late than never. So we're taking the steep boat. Supposed to leave at 11.45, but probably not gonna leave to like one. Slowly but surely. The Albanian flag is very cool. One of the coolest flags out there. Not much of a line, more just like a hodgepodge smush to the front. One of the people I met in the terminal said that Albanians don't like waiting in lines. So maybe that's why it's a big smush. Cool flag, very, very cool flag. It's like red with a black emblem on it and the slow cruise is behind you. So they have two boats, this is a fast boat and that is a slow boat. Now we're getting on. A lot of people get on the wrong boat. Hello. Hello. Yep. Go back anywhere, we can see that. Come on, Travis. I pick up at the end. Sorry. 
park. So the downstairs. Looks like the downstairs is full. They took my bag, so gotta get that later. There you go. Got a window seat. Wow, it's like little airplane seats. Whew. That's quite a hassle. There is a lot of confusion because there's multiple ferries going on at once and this ferry is so late that people from the other ferry try to get on this ferry. But now we're on, we're on the ferry. They take all the big luggage from here. So I gotta make sure I get that back because my computers are in the big luggage, um, which I don't love when I leave them. Uh, but yeah, last few people boarding now. And then we should be on our way. Out back, slow ferry up there. I don't think I don't think these are seats though. Albania. Gotta find the luggage. That's half the battle to get into Albania. Hotel is somewhere over that way. I think we got like an immigration of some sort to go through. And yeah, pretty good ferry. Fast, good, no complaints. This is Albania. And that is the ferry that we took. Luggage acquired. We're good to go. Let's get out of here, find a hotel and get on with the day. Get on with our life. Got some yachts there. The terminal over there. I assume for passport control. The beach is very pretty over there. So I think that's where we're going to go at some point. So this is Albania. We're here now. Like a two minute walk to the hotel, which is right up there. This place is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous so far. So I'm gonna be here for the next two weeks or so. Just exploring, walking around, usual stuff. Making videos too. But now let's get to the hotel, take a shower because I'm absolutely exhausted and wash some clothes. This is it, gotta wait 10 minutes to check in. Then I will take a shower. Okay, got the room now. 105. And this looks good to me. So a little, ooh, and a balcony. That's a great view. A little interesting thing at check-in. They said that basically all the lady says, 100 euro, no problem. However, <laughs> that goes against everything that I have in my booking.com reservation so that'll be something that'll be figured out later but anyways i am very very glad to be in saranda this beautiful beautiful town over there it's gorgeous over there and so i'm gonna take a shower get some food change clothes and see you in the next video